Hello, my name is Lawrence. I'm 35 years old uh, and I am a family law attorney. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. I've been living in Denver, Colorado uh, pretty much since I was uh, six years old. Went to college in Boulder, uh, went to law school in Boston and then finished in Boulder. And I've been here in Denver since. Hi, I'm James. I am 34 years old. I was born and raised in Juneau, Alaska. Um, I moved to Arizona for college. Um, I then spent a little bit of time in Russia before I found a really enjoyable home here in Colorado. When Lawrence and I first met, uh, on our second date, we decided to chat about children and if we wanted them. Um, so we've known that we both wanted kids for the past seven years. We've spent a great deal of that time preparing for this and are really excited to move on to the next chapter. James and I have both been really fortunate to have involved loving parents who gave us such great opportunities um, to be able to go to college, to be able to travel, um, to get you know great educations, to get so much unconditional love from our families. And I think that, that both of us really feel uh, a duty and an obligation to do that ourselves with a kid. And I think we're both really excited about what that will entail. Uh, I think for James and I, adoption was a pretty easy choice. Uh, as two gay men, we knew that having a biological child was uh, gonna be pretty unlikely for us. And I think just as a matter of values, James and I really wanted to uh, open up our home and, and provide a home for a child that is already here, a child that is already going to exist. Um, there are so many children out there, I think, that, could, that can benefit from the love that uh, adoptive parents and the two men are able to bring to a child's life. James and I are really lucky to have uh, large extended families and many of them are local. So for me, my mom, she lives local, she's in Centennial, she's going to be moving to Westminster to uh, help us. We'll take any help I'm sure that we can get in those, in those first couple years um, of parenting. I have a really large extended family right here in Colorado. I have a cousin that's a few years younger than me, another cousin that's a few years older, um, and a handful of aunts and uncles that live either in Manitou, Colorado Springs area, or up in the mountains in Leadville. I also have two grandparents who are lovely that I like to visit in Colorado Springs. Really excited for our kid to have the opportunity to meet them and, and you know, just create some memories. James is a really special person, hence why I decided to marry him. Uh, and I'd say some of the traits that I love about him most are first his patience. James is an incredibly, incredibly patient person. Um, and I know that that is a quality that will make him an excellent father. James is incredibly loving and caring, I mean, to, to his core. Um, he is somebody who is a pacifist. He is somebody who will not harm anybody. He is someone that is so nurturing and kind and caring and anyone who meets him within seconds, you can just tell that he's that kind of guy. And I'd say the third trait about James I really love is his connection and his deep appreciation for nature. He has a very unique connection to plants and animals and the natural world that I think is so special and he has shared that with me and I'm so excited to watch him share that with a child and with our family. There are a few traits that Lawrence has that I absolutely love. One is the way he treats his friends. He always puts them first and you know those stronger relationships are very important to him. I'm excited to see him pass those types of uh, ways of you know, living onto a kid. I think that'll be really, really great. Um, the next thing that I think is just an absolutely amazing trait of his um, is his sense of purpose. He knows why he's doing what he's doing. He loves helping people and he incorporates that into every one of his days. Lastly is his sense of curiosity. Uh, I love seeing him have new experiences. He is full of questions and I uh, really enjoy seeing him go through new experiences with that mindset. All right, so to start off talking about our family, we're gonna introduce you to uh, one of our most important family members, which is Apollo. This is my red iguana that you can see here in the background. He likes to sit here and bask in the sun and teach us patience and eat his, uh, his salad greens every day. We feel that Lawrence and James would be good parents because they just 
plain fit. They're kind and they have plenty of compassion to share with a child. They have enough love in their heart for their entire family and their future family. Al, what is it that you want to teach our grandchild? I want to teach our grandchild how to play and have fun. What are you looking forward to teaching the grandchild, Rebecca? I'm looking forward to teaching our grandchild their way around the kitchen, especially when it comes to baking. I'm so looking forward to being a grandmother. I look forward to the day that I can teach the children all about the animals and how to take care of the land that we live on. When I'm most excited about being a grandma, I would love to watch them grow. I love to read with them. I love to watch their first birthdays and occasionally spoiling them. I hope someday in the future I will be able to take my grandchild on Alaskan mountain hikes, some Alaskan fishing trips on the Pacific coast, read books of Alaska history. I'm excited to be an uncle. Me to be an aunt. So that we can shower our niece or nephew with love and create unforgettable memories together, just like Lawrence and James have with our children. I'm excited to watch them create the family they've always dreamed of. I know they're gonna be the most amazing parents. And I'm excited for us to be aunts and have fun family cousin time. I think Uncle Lawrence and Uncle James are gonna be good parents because they're fun and nice. They're the most selfless people that I know, and they ensure that everyone around them and in their lives are taken care of and are living their best lives, and I know that they'll do the same when they have a baby. When we became guardians to two teenagers, Lawrence and James stepped up immediately to help us, and they have been so great with the kids. Ah, I started crying my last uh, take. Um, James and Lawrence are the epitome of stability. Um, they are, they've had a long-term relationship. They're wonderful together and they have fulfilling careers and um, they are just two wonderful human beings. They are some of our best friends and they've always had our backs. They will always give their kid a totally safe space to be themselves. James and Lawrence are not only exceptionally kind, but they have more emotional intelligence than most. Together, they've created an environment of generosity, empathy, and patience. Because they're both reliable people who stay true to their word. One reason James and Lawrence are going to be great parents is how well they communicate with one another. They're two very different people, and their ability to find common ground is going to be a key part of their success as parents. They say it takes a village to raise a happy child, and they certainly have their village in place.